What's going on guys? Dane here and welcome back to Seven Nights 2, man. You already know what's going down. Today we have something completely casual compared to our normal content. You feel me? Uh, normally, I like to drop like a 10 minute guide on how to like fully in-depth handle a piece of content and stuff like that or like a full in-depth like 10, 15 minute character spotlight, anything like that and really give you guys as much information as possible to really like applicable stuff that you can bring with you, you know what I mean? Even if you're not using the same units, even if you're not doing whatever that case may be, I like to cover as many areas as are relevant so that you can apply it yourself. You know, we got a big brain community over here, uh, for sure. Uh, and I trust you guys, you know, I don't want to baby you and be like, this is exactly what you did, like keynote, 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 all that stuff. You know, it's, it's irrelevant, man. Cause honestly, like, like I believe in you guys more than I think a lot of content creators believe in their, uh, their core audience. So I don't do that. What I do is drop short guides with just full in-depth applicable knowledge. You feel me? Because it, once you have the tools, you guys are handling it. And you guys have shown that through and through and through. I mean, you wouldn't be following along if you didn't like that style of like, you know what? Like you're not children. You know what I mean? Even if you are young, you ain't a child. So I got you, man. I got you. And today's no different. However, there's nothing to talk about with this five set. I want to bring you guys these five sets of every single piece of Celestial Tower. You feel me? But as you're seeing right here, there is no reason for this one. Um, this is uh, 26 through 30. And if you are unaware, the uh, the five sets for Celestial Tower, the five floors in a row are the same fight. They just get harder and harder. Now, these five sets are so easy, no matter what your combat power is. If you could handle the 21 through 25, you can handle these easily. They're way easier than that Golem was, regardless of your power. And the reason for it is there's a mechanic that is so abusable that even if you're not using the team I'm using right here, I'm going to tell you exactly how to do it so easily. It's just insane, bro. It's insane. Notice how I'm running around right now, and I'm waiting for my heal to come up. And that's exactly what I did. I ran around, I got my heal up, all that, and I'm just kind of tanking everything and running around when I'm low on HP on anyone and making sure that my healer is going to have a heal available to her when I let go and let everyone go back to autoing. That's the mechanic. There is no rage timer. This boss does not have a rage timer, and he only has a single target attack that he'll use once in a while when you're away from him. So if you're at half HP, and you run away, and you wait for a heal to come up, you will never run into trouble with him. Use someone that has two heals in their kit. I would highly recommend Karen. She has a shield, so after she heals, she'll save people from blasts like that. On top of the fact that if someone does die, if you're not using the same team I am, and maybe you have less survivability on your team, whatever the case may be, uh, you can easily use people as meat shields to get to her ultimate and just make sure that you revive people when you have your heal available to you simple as that like when you revive people make sure your heal is up to do it you feel me pop that heal and then like pop your ultimate and then pop your heal and they'll come back and they'll be full health all of a sudden and it is that easy but as you saw i didn't really need to do much of that other than run around and let my heal come up like twice the entire fight that was such an easy five set it's unreal so what we're doing instead I'm going to show you guys the tactic that people are bringing up left and right on that Soulstone video that I dropped, and it does work like a charm. Now, the reason that I didn't do it, I thought about it, but the reason I didn't do it uh, was because I wasn't sure if they were going to be out of the circle range, this little blast right here, uh, right off the top of my head. And I also didn't want to just full-on test it by having to build a range unit to see if it would work in general, because I didn't have a second one built, nor did I have a second one available that I even wanted to build at the time. So now here we are, and uh, you guys were absolutely right. This is a beautiful tactic right here. So I figured I'd show it off in practice for people that either haven't seen that video or people that are, uh, you know, uh, read the comments and weren't exactly sure what it looked like in practice, but this is all you do. You do a drop-off method. You run everybody over in a squad to one side of the map, and then you run Valder right here between the rock and a hard place, man. You feel me? And you let him take all the heat. He's going to get clapped left and right, not in, a, not in a giggity way, and things are going to be smooth for you. You just literally stand here and move out of the way of the ultimate, and it is donezo, bro. But while I have your attention, guys, we're coming up on the 1500 subscribers special and I want your opinion real quick. Um, I have an idea for what I want to do for this one. Normally they're real talk like personal stuff and like stories and like all kinds of mess, but I want to like, I want to, I have an idea here and it's kind of inspired by all the advice that's been dropping in our uh, comments. You feel me? And I, I want to, I want to hear what you guys have in mind. If you have a different suggestion for what you want to see for uh, the real talk, we're going to do them every 500 at this point. We have to, the growth is too real. Thanks to you guys. 
so uh yeah that's how you do it it's easy peasy uh, it works every single time just move out of the way of the ultimate other than that stand there like a stone of steel it works best with valder and with uh karen at the end of the day you should have both of them at this point if you don't have karen just bring a double healer a uh, double healer is such a good way to bring with the survival tank in general valder just doesn't die man valder is so good at just soaking up individual damage it's insane bring two rangers as well and bam that is dunzo bro I done so but either way um what are you guys uh, feeling about this idea for the subscriber special and just run it by me because i don't want to waste anybody's time with it um but with all the advice y'all have been dropping in the comments and just like you know how baller a lot of your guys's opinions are um i was just wondering if anyone at all would be interested in kind of like a like how i started making this content or more so than just how i started because i think i've talked about that before but how you can start making content specifically on mobile games because that's what we do on this channel and i can run you guys by the entire flow chart of just how to hit it and run it man because i mean within one year i'm getting paid to do this now you know what i mean and i did not do anything outside of marketing myself no deals with another company no anything this has all been independent and with you guys and in one year we're literally this is a job now all of a sudden and we just hit that so recently it's unbelievable so I wanted to run it past you guys the idea of maybe giving back to you guys a little bit and if anyone's curious on how I do it I can bring that by you and tell you guys like the secret to like why we're growing so fast and on top of that give you guys like the blueprints to start your own mobile gaming channel if you guys are interested in that regard if you would just like to see what that advice would look like in general from someone that is on the rapid growing chart i mean our exposure on youtube right now it's blowing out of the water the the amount of like a mass like i'm getting sent out to this person and this person and this person for at least the option for them to click now it's snowballing out of control and i would like to run back by you guys and kind of give back on how we made that happen and what you can do from my setup to uh how i commentate to like it kind of like bringing yourself into your own like not like copying me but that's the exact point on how to do it yourself your own way and tactics you can use to stay true to yourself while you're doing this because it's very difficult to stay true to yourself in a field like this if this is something you're interested in go ahead and let me know man and uh you know we can do just a 10 minute maybe 20 minute video for the 1500 special on uh how you can start a channel and uh you know start start seeing some success in your channel as well i think uh i think that'd be pretty dope because i think the biggest takeaway always is you need to do it your way but i can help you do it your way and if that's not it if you guys want something else i can talk about what it's like trying to commentate with uh schizophrenia because that's always a fun topic um i can talk about you know uh what it was like growing up uh where i did in south phoenix uh because like there's so much story time we could do there with just the amount of random just like stuff that's hard to talk about on uh youtube without you know getting flagged for you know uh uh, like I don't know like inappropriate content from uh, from uh, that kind of that kind of area I came from uh, You know people can hear it in my voice. I have that little bit of an accent a lot of times. It's it's not forced It's uh, it's from where I grew up. You know, I could do story time. I could do a lot of different routes uh, But we're coming up on it very quickly So I want to hear your thoughts on that or which way one way or the other whatever the case may be But either way guys, I hope you enjoyed it If you did enjoy it, go ahead and click that like button man But you know me only if you really liked it And if you vibe with me, then subscribe with me I got you covered on two videos a day on the best hidden gems On the mobile marketplace, hands down Thank you so much for watching, I'll see you in the next one Peace out